Hello everyone, it's Adam Blazer here, as you already know. And in today's video, I will show you how to fix steering issues that I had quite a long time for R Factor 2. And it blew my mind. Um, I was so against R Factor 2, how it had become, how it was working, and so forth. So, in this video, I will show you how to fix those issues for you. You don't need to do much. So we will easy fix this up for you. Okay. All right. Let's head on on it. All right. As you already can see, I am straight on R Factor 2 here, as you can see behind me. And yes, the only thing that I found out that should work. Oh, hang on. I'm going too fast here. Uh, you left click and go to properties, hit betas, and you see this section here? It probably will say none or old UI, depends which one you're using. But, this fix all my problems. Previous release. This is the previous public stable build. Which means that's the one you are meant to use to have more stable R Factor 2, so you can have more lovable liking driving with r factor 2 steering wheel fix itself everything that you loved about it will still be there if you have none you get all the updates which is kind of like the release candidate the latest available public build a release candidate to become stable soon so if you have none you get kind of these updates and you getting a new version of R Factor 2 that doesn't work properly yet. And the steering will be bad. It is out of sync. It will basically destroy the fun of it. I didn't think about it before. Then I just thought in my mind, what if I did so? And I hit this button here, and it updates this version, and you can play straight away. Now we are inside the game. So, now I hit that uh, wheel there, calibration. When I was, before I went to that thing, when I was steering 90 degrees like so, it kind of doesn't look like much of the steering, but 90 degrees before I did this, you see the black thing here? That was how much 90 degrees was. So, I probably got to use about 55 or 45 ish for car specific multiplier depends on the cars because I am on fan attack dd2 wheel smoothing I keep that as nine minimum steering torque keep that at zero and please check this one if not checked because this will automatically uh, fix the steering for your cars that is specified for every car you're driving. Speed sensitivity, I keep that at zero. Exaggerate jaw, not sure what that is. Look ahead, I don't mind, I don't touch it. Visuals, no, nah, I don't do much about that. So, yeah. All right, now we are inside the game. So, now we're gonna have a lap around 
and see how things is working out. Steering feels nice. Feels bloody amazing right now. You know, with cold tires, it's uh, pretty amazing. Just to let you guys know, I am not the fastest guy in the world. Had to be careful around our corner, I was on there quite a lot before. Alright, we're making another lap then. Just why not? A little bit uh, off tracks. on the limit This is uh, bloody amazing, it's beautiful, how it feels, how it drives, this is just like feeling like Automobilista 1, basically, but Automobilista 1 has more HUDs in game that uh, shows track map and all, I wish to aim uh, or RF to have that as well, I hope it will arrive Sooner. There you go. All right, let me show you my force feedback settings. As promised, uh, let's calibrate sign now. Okay, so this is calibration that I'm using. So this is not much of a difference from what I already have, but let's check my Fanatec settings for R Factor 2, Race Room, and Automobilista 1, and upcoming for me in sooner, uh, AMS 2 as well. 
So all four of them are using the same. As you can see here on the screen, I have auto on the Sen maximum steering for the Podium DD2 wheelbase. 40% of force feedback strength. Have it on peak, not lin. Have it on peak. NDP natural damper. Have that on 25%. NFR natural friction 5%. NIN natural inertia, keep that off. INT FFB interplosion filter, keep that at 4. FE force, that will be at 100. And for FANALAB, if you are also using FANALAB, I have that on my section 3 with race room, R Factor 2, Automobilista 1, and upcoming for me, Automobilista 2. So again, it's still on auto, 40% on force feedback strength. Keep it at peak, not lin. NDP 25%, NFR 5%, NIN, keep that off. And int four and one hundred and off depends what you like on brake level of indicator. Shock vibration one hundred, keep this on auto, and that's it. That is for all four sims I use, except for AMS2, I don't have it yet. But I will get it soon. But I still gotta use that on AMS too. So um, I think this is uh, hope will be helpful for everyone of you, and hope uh, this will fix your R Factor 2 issues and problems that you might have with R Factor 2. I really hope this will fix everything that have been an issue. And I hope. I brought you back to R Factor 2 to enjoyment and more experience for getting more into R Factor 2 in the future. And let's hope R Factor 2 Studio 397 will give us more HUDs inside instead of third parties. Like we can have track map, uh, standings, and relatives. The fastest time and so forth because Automobilista 1 has it so I don't see why not can uh, R Factor 2 get it as well instead of having the uh, TV overlay ish looking from the broadcast let's hope they will in get that inside R Factor 2 soon because that is what I want but other than that, guys, I hope this video was very helpful for you. And um, I hope I see you on the next one. Take care.